This is breaking news from 4 News Now. Good afternoon for 4 News Now. I'm Rob King. Welcome to today's KXLY Plus Daily Rundown, where I'll take you through some of the top local headlines and give an inside look as to what the 4 News Now team is working on today. Starting with new information in the Kellogg quadruple homicide, we now know the name of the suspect and the name of the victims. Uh, those have all been confirmed this morning. So uh, 31 year old, the suspect, 31 year old Major John Kaler appeared in court today. Uh, he faces four first degree murder charges and one felony burglary count. Oddly enough, uh, the same charges that Moscow murder suspect Brian Koberger faced. So the sentences, if both are convicted, could be similar as well. Natalie Grant and Peter Choi are both out in Kellogg today. Uh, Natalie is taking a look at what happened in court this morning, and Peter is working on speaking with the victims' families to learn more about them. Like I said, we do have the victims' identities now. Uh, the victims are Kenna and Kenneth Guardapi and Devin Smith, as well as one juvenile uh, Kaler faces uh, the murders of these four individuals that were has been confirmed by ISP to have been neighbors, all of these people. Um, so Kaler now faces the murders of those four individuals. In addition, this morning, the prosecution said that Kaler admitted to law enforcement to the killings. Um, so we'll see how that plays into the court as well. Uh, Kaler did not receive a bond, so he will remain in custody until his next court appearance on July 3rd. And like I said, Natalie's out there. She was in the courtroom this morning and she was tweeting the information as we were getting it. And Peter is working on speaking with the victim's families today. We are also hoping to get new information in the Gorge shooting that took place over the weekend at Beyond Wonderland, in which two people were killed and two were injured. The suspect was also injured. Um, we're working to find out his condition as well and his identity. Uh, we still don't have the suspect's identity, but we uh, will hopefully find out the victim's identities later. The Grant County Sheriff's Office uh, has said that they will probably release the victim's identities later today, probably closer to news time at 5 p.m. Info is still limited, but the Grant County Sheriff's Office said because it is an officer-involved shooting, uh, the information is going to remain limited going forward in this case. Uh, so that is all the latest details we have this morning in both of those shootings. Uh, you can find a little more in-depth analysis at kxly.com where you can find out what happened today, especially in the court case in Kellogg today. Uh, let's take a look outside at what is happening with the weather. Today is the final day of spring and it's going to feel like it. Uh, we got the high at 60 today, which is below average for this time. You can see the highs for uh, Spokane, Coeur d'Alene, some of the surrounding areas staying upper 50s, low 60s around the region. So tonight, also this later this afternoon, we are expecting some rain to move in, feeling very spring-like. Here's an uh, image of the radar where it looks like northern Spokane is going to get hit the most with the rain, as well as Colville. So expect that for your commute home. It has been some light sprinkling this afternoon, so you should already be prepared. Hopefully you brought a jacket when you left your home this morning. Uh, looking ahead though, first day of summer, and with that, right on cue, the temperatures are going to start warming up. We look into the upper 60s on Wednesday, into the 70s Thursday, and then Friday, for Hoop Fest, things could get quite hot into the 80s and then uh, mid to upper 80s Sunday into Monday. And with that weather and that little tie in, we are going to look at Hoop Fest. Allison Martinez is on the Hoop Fest story today. She's speaking with a sports doctor about if you're playing in the event, how do you avoid injuries? Uh, stay hydrated, proper stretching. In addition, like I said, in weather, it's going to be in the 80s that day, feel like summer. Uh, so how, what do you, how do you stay hydrated and how do you avoid uh, getting any health issues from the heat? Allison Martinez, our newest reporter, will have all those details. Also, congratulations to Allison on making her KXLY TV debut last night. And that video is available on KXLY.com attached to her Juneteenth story. Uh, Allison, you can also read more about her on our Meet the Team page at KXLY.com. 
In addition, big news is that the HoopFest brackets will be released tomorrow around 6 p.m. And that will tell people who they're playing, what it's going to look like. Remember, it is a competition, not just the games one-on-one, -on -one, but ultimately a tournament to suss out who is the best three-on-three -three basketball player in the world. We'll go ahead and say they're the best in the world. Um, so you can get that information on the HoopFest app or you can find it on kxly.com. We will certainly link it once that bracket is released, and we'll all be watching closely to see where our digital producer, Will Wixie, is seated and cheering on him to victory. So that's all we got for today's KXLY Plus Daily Rundown. Again, some of those stories, those in-depth court stories, you can find out more information at kxly.com. Uh, be sure to download the KXLY Plus app on your connected TVs. That's Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and Roku. Also, you can download the 4 News Now mobile app and turn on notifications so you get the latest in breaking news in our community. So we'll have all that and more coming up in our newscast tonight at 5. But for now, I'm live in studio. Rob King for KXLY+.